this is Stephen Nichols from Dudley Performing Arts and this is a video tutorial for the melody part to the Mass Ensemble piece More Than A Feeling. Now the first thing you need to get right when you're preparing this piece and preparing to record your video is the counting. So the first thing you'll hear on the backing track is a click and then you've got to count one, two, three, four. Now you guys don't actually start playing until section B but it's really important that you count in section A so that when we sync all the videos together we make sure everybody's in time. So after you've done your counting, one, two, three, four, you'll wait your four bars and then you'll hear another counting just before you start playing, one, two, three, four, and then you're into your part in section B. Now for section B, let's play a little two bar phrase at a time, so I'll play it and I'll leave space for you to try and play it back. So first little two bar phrase, one, two, three, four. So I was using second position for that, my first finger playing the second fret, and my third finger playing the fourth fret. Now the next little phrase. Now you'll notice there I used second position again to start with, but then I switched back to first position for the. Then it's nearly the same in the next section. So the most challenging part of section B is the last three bars. So you'll notice there's a little run going up, it goes as high as the 10th fret. Now if you can't find your 10th fret on the, your guitar, because you're not used to playing that high, you've got dots most of you on 3, 5, 7 and 9. Some of you might only have them on 5, 7 and 9 if you've got a classical guitar. Some of you might not have any dots unfortunately. If you've got a dot at 12 as well, then you can just count back to and find your 10th fret. Make sure you know where it is if you want to stick something on your guitar as a little marker. To find it or put the position markers on three five seven nine and twelve that will help you to find the right fret now for this little section here we're going to be sliding our way up the neck into our different positions so we're going to start with second fret on the first string and we play two of those and then we're going to play a slide from the third fret to the fifth fret on the first string so that diagonal line between the 3 and the 5 means we're going to slide. We only pick the 3rd fret and we slide our finger into the 5th fret. Then we have to jump all the way up to that 10th fret. So it will take a bit of practice to get that. Now I've notated it that way because when I asked a couple of people, they said they found it easier to play along one string. You could change that section and decide to play it on the 2nd string. And instead of the 2nd fret down there, you could play the 7th fret on the 2nd string. And then do your slide from the 8th to the 10th fret on the 2nd string and then just move down onto the 1st string to the 10th fret. And that's a much easier way of playing it, it just depends which one you find easiest. So the choice is yours. After we've done that little run up, we're just going to move back to our 3rd fret and then work back up to our 7th fret at the end. Now you don't play anything for the whole of section C, so you'll see it says wait for counting. So after that counting we come in with our chorus melody. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. And that takes us into section E. So section E, you've got a one and a half beat rest on the first beat. So you're going to go one, two. Okay, so that first section, make sure you hear that two count at the start. After that, you've got some, you've got to shoot back up to your 10th fret again. You've got to make sure you don't play the notes in brackets, that you're just holding the note on. So you hold that third fret for that whole bar, then you jump up to the 10th fret then you hold that for another bar after that and then move up to 12th fret for four beats. So the whole of section E will sound like this. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that takes us into section F. Now in section F, you'll hear some people from the seniors are going to be playing a solo at this point. They'll be playing the... Now underneath that you're going to be filling in the chords. So 
all you're playing is partial chords with two notes and they're based on chords that you may already know. So the first chord is based on a D chord and I want you to just play it with your first finger, second fret on the third string and your third finger, third fret on the second string and just pick your third and second strings then you just take off your two fingers and play the two open strings, third and second strings two beats on each then you're going to go back on to the first chord again and then you're going to switch to the second fret on both strings so all of these chords for the, this first part are on the third and second strings now to play the two second frets you can either use one finger to cover both or you can use two different fingers it's up to you and then you repeat that whole section so it's going to sound like this now on the third time it changes slightly we start the same to the open strings but then we're going to move on to our fourth and third strings and you can again you can either use two fingers or you can use one finger to cover both strings and I'm going to press the fourth fret on both strings and then move down to the second fret on both those strings then move down your first finger onto the third string second fret and add your third finger over onto the fourth fret of the fourth string pick both those strings then you're going to move up to cover both fourth frets you can either use two fingers again or flatten your finger and then we're going to move down to second fret on the fourth string and then we're just going to flatten our finger again or add another finger to play the second fret and then we've got open strings for four beats and then moving into this last little rundown this is based on a full D chord so you could hold a full D chord first finger again on the second fret of the third string your second finger second fret of the first string and your third finger third fret on the second string and then just add your little finger to make a D sus4 chord underneath your third finger on the third fret of the first string and you can just strum first and second string to start with and take off your little finger then take off your second finger and then just pick your third and second string at the end so that little rundown is going to go and you hold that for two bars okay now in section G you're just holding that chord at the start and then you wait for the counting to section H now section H is very similar to the little run up that we used at the end of section B so we're going to again go to our second fret then we're going to do our slide up from the third to the fifth jump up to our tenth then we move back down to third fret but we stay down there this time so that little section and then going on to the next line section H we've got a little pull off so the curved line between the two and the zero on the first string we're going to play the second fret and pull our finger off to sound the open string so you only pick once for those two notes to make it nice and smooth and then my second finger is ready to go onto the third fret of the second string so you can make a nice quick rundown that'll take a little bit of practice to get that fast then moving on to the end of section H we've got a one and a half beat rest again at the beginning so you're going to go one two now I rolled my first finger across both strings there, I started on 3rd fret 2nd string then rolled onto the 1st string and then slid up to the 5th fret and then you're going to jump up to your little finger again 10th fret on the 1st string that 10th fret is going to hold for a total of 7 beats and then on beat 4 to that 2nd bar you're going to go to your 5th fret 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and then you're going to jump down to your second fret. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, third fret, two, three, four, and then section I, you don't play anything. You wait for the counting again to count you into section J. Now, the biggest difference with section J this time is we come straight in. So there's no little chord section for the chorus. We come straight in at the very beginning. So after that counting, you're straight in with the melody. One, two, three, four.
And then you hold that last note for three whole bars. And just hold that note till the very end of the backing track. Don't let it off too early, because if we get lots of people letting the notes go at different times at the end, it's going to sound really bad. So you just keep it hold, held until the very end of the backing track, and then we'll fade everybody out on that last note. Next thing I'm going to do is record the whole track. You'll be able to see the music alongside me. Um, you can watch my fingers. And try and play along with this when you're ready. Go back and look at different, all the different sections of this video, pause it, rewind, make sure you're happy with each section, and when you feel that you can put them all together, start trying to think about recording your own video. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, B. One, two, three, four.